What is up all my investors at Shadon? I'm back again with another Shine Dance video to break down a complex financial world. Uh, that makes me just take a deep breath every day. I'm here to break it down for everyday people like me and you so we can get to this money, this cheddar just a little bit more smoothly. Today, I'm talking about a plant-based company that may be disrupting the economy, the world. Will the plant-based hype remain or will it go away? Make sure you pay attention to all the details, some interesting stocks um, to be looking at. Uh, before I get there, I got to show my appreciation to you. Yes, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you aren't already. Comment below what you think. Say what's up. How you doing? Check in, right? We're only going to get stronger if we continue to communicate. With that being said, is the hype for Beyond Meat and plant-based products going to remain or will it go away? I know about last year, there were a lot of analysts saying that this was these numbers were just hype, um, that the products weren't going to last long, people weren't going to stick to this. Um, and I kind of disagree because, you know, after 2020, you had a, a big health surge and people started thinking about their health more people are starting to watch what they eat now um i know my i've always liked to be healthy but for me personally like after 2020 i was like i i need to be healthier like in different aspects i need to really watch when i eat i really need to make sure i'm working out this many times a week make sure i'm doing this style of workout and not just that um and i and i feel like that that type of energy spread across um and, um, you know, plant-based products, you know, they say that it's healthier because of the way that a lot of these animals are being raised. And we got some numbers here. We got some facts. We got U.S. retail sales of plant-based foods has grown 27% from 2020, bringing it to about roughly $7 billion in sales. Um, I think that number will continue to grow uh, beyond the meat in general and just all, a lot of the plant-based companies. I'm going to speak to specifically beyond meat. Uh, there's, there's the chef one. There's, there's a few others. Y'all can let them let p other people know in the comments below. Um, I don't want to get too crazy with the plant-based life, but beyond meat is a disruptor. I love it. I love disruptive stocks. Um, I love the disruption when it comes from tech, but this, the food disruption, very powerful disruption, obviously, because they finessed us with the milk. They've been finessing us with meat. And, uh, you know, it's time that we give back some of the finesse and it's time for us to finesse. And, and a company like Beyond Meat might give us the power to finesse the meat industry, the meat conglomerates that have been built. So it's a, it's a disruptor and I love disruptors. So you have to do your due diligence on this one. Um, they're increasing their presence in popular restaurants, food restaurants, and food retailers. Um, they're at, I mean, I go to Kroger's. I see them at Kroger's. I see them at Market Basket. Now, they're they're partnering up with like McDonald's. They're partnering up with, with Panda Express just announced they're doing orange chicken. Um, they're doing some amazing things and creating some amazing products. Uh, they're partnering with it. They're doing a lot of partnerships, man. And, and I said, listen, y'all can go back to some of my oldest, older videos where I said the companies who partner more will, they will be pushed and rocketed into the next like two generations, probably. Um, just through the, the powerfulness of the partnerships. And it's hard to beat companies that are partnering with bigger companies. It, it really is. So Dope to see Panda Express going to do plant-based orange chicken, um, depending on the success of this of this stuff. I, I even believe I think I heard KFC doing like a some type of a Beyond Meat popcorn chicken or chicken nuggets tenders. I don't know. There's tons of products, and I know it's going to get crazier. I think I read that they're even working on doing plant-based fish. Will this remain? <laughs> Will this lifestyle remain? Is this lifestyle sustainable? The plant base will it be health? Will it essentially be healthier? Because some people say that the high sodium 
kind of offsets. So this is going to be an interesting, interesting industry, industry to watch here. But there's tons of opportunity, and I want us to see that. Um, Beyond Meat is also targeting the largest meat market, which is China. They've opened the door to try to get into that market. And if their sales go crazy in China, I think that this this company can probably be can probably two times, five times in the next handful of years. Um, they're selling on an e-commerce platform called JDs.com or something like that in China. Um, hopefully with sales from that, it's going to boost everything, more money, more research and development to make this a healthy product. I love this. I love this stock. Let's take a look at the chart real quick. Um, getting beat down, I just put some random zones in here. Um, definitely not at a high point, so definitely some buying opportunity. It's ranging. I hate to see stocks ranging. So this is definitely a stock that I'm going to wait out. I'm not going to buy just right away, but I'm going to watch it. Um, if it goes towards the bottom of that zone, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I probably will be potentially buying at the bottom of that yellow zone there uh, I think that that leaves a good opportunity at least to sculpt till it jumps back up um, But if it goes below I'm definitely gonna continue to watch to see what the best buying opportunity is But I do love this stock The only question that is to remain and this all depends on how the people feel. This is what the people feel Will plant-based products remain or will they go away and we'll just go back to eating meat again? Think about that and see what the answers are in the, in the, in the comments below. Put your answer in the comments below because it's going to help other people determine if this is a good stock for them. Do you do diligence on this? I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not saying that this is a stock that you should buy. I'm telling you that you should open your eyes, read more, and find out about this disruptive, innovative style of stock here. I mean, you got to call it innovative when they're making plant-based fish. Uh, I'm sorry. It's, it's, that's, I, I never in my life would have thought that we would be doing that. Um, I mean, I never thought we'd be doing plant-based sausages. But hey, it's happening and it's here. And you have to react. So do your due diligence. I hope you learned something. Let me know how you feel in the comments about Beyond Meat or other plant-based companies that I didn't mention. Share it for the people below. Again, if you're interested in joining the Future Millionaires Discord chat, shoot me in DM above. I will get you all the mother details. We back at it again tomorrow. Thank y'all for watching.